So, uh, Exegog, uh, we're moving now from Christmas to Passover in a, in a holiday theme, multicultural holiday theme, um, uh, with music by Avner Finsberg, who is watching. Hello out there, Avner, um, as he recovers uh, from COVID. Um, the play is set at a modern day Passover service. Um, so, like the opera, the play also has three performers. In the case of the play, the three characters are Zeke, the composer of the opera, who, just in the world of the play, of course, um, Abraham, Zeke's father, who's leading the Passover service, and Aliyah, uh, Zeke's girlfriend, who grew up Muslim but is currently not observant. Uh, the play is about tradition belonging and the question of how we define blasphemy. The opera happens on top of the Passover table, so it's a giant table, um, and some of the audience will be around the table with, with the uh, performers, and then there'll be some audience uh, uh, surrounding that table as well. Um, so the opera will, uh, which is what you're actually gonna hear, is based on the ancient Greek play by Ezekiel the Tragedian, who lived in Alexandria in the second century CE. Uh, at the time, uh, the Jewish community was somewhat integrated into Alexandrian society, and Ezekiel had hoped to increase those bonds with his play, portraying a Jewish story, uh, the Exodus, in the ways that the Greeks were portraying their own legends. Um, so this is actually the earliest known Jewish uh, play. Uh, in this version uh, of uh, Zipporah, uh, Moses' wife, never actually converts from paganism uh, because it was supposed to be uh, joining the, uh, the cultures. Also in this version, the play ended with a sort of deus ex machina involving a phoenix, which was a popular <coughs> pagan figure in Alexandria. Uh, as a result, uh, many among the Jewish elders considered the play blasphemy, and it is believed that they destroyed copies of the play, and all we have left is fragments, and those fragments is what uh, we translate into the opera. Um, Exegog itself is divided into 15 sections, like a Seder is divided into 15 sections. Um, and uh, we have worked up a little bit of the first few few bits, and now we're, we're go, starting from uh, see, uh, section five for this workshop, uh, which is the burning bush. Um, it's the largest surviving section from the original play. Um, here I chose to present God with both male and female aspects, which corresponds to Talmudic and Kabbalistic interpretations of God's gender. Um, and I will be speaking here and a little bit later, uh, little bits of uh, Abraham's part, because he is leading the service and we hear from him occasionally during the opera sections as well. So um, I'm just going to set that up and then I will start.
Oh! <laughs> 